It looks like you became an intern after all. And it looks like you got your coffee. No thanks to you. And no, you can't have mine. That's okay. I can make my own. Do you even know where the coffee is in this office? In the kitchen. Wow, clearly my job is done. <sighs> so, I should get to work, but do you have any advice so I don't get... Fired? Yeah. I'm just an intern, but don't I... Don't let your title define you. Ooh, how do I feel they're not just talking about coffee? That is a clip of rising star Emrys Cooper, who starred along everyone from, let's see, Meryl Streep to James Bond. And his true triple threat may soon become a household name with all of the project that he's got going on. And Emrys joins us now live to give us all the scoop. You've charmed the entire studio in your like 20 minutes of already being here. Well, thanks for the great introduction. I hope I live up to it. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure is on, my friend. It I just is. told Amrys in the commercial break that British stars are like the best interviews, so I'm like, so don't disappoint. I'll I'm just try saying. Not to. But you guys get royal training. I mean, it's it's interesting because Michael Douglas. Did you read that he just gave this interview where he thinks that uh, British actors and Australian actors are stealing all the good parts, but also because they're they're better trained in acting. Well, I was trained by the Queen. It is a royal training. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I trained from a very young age, from like four years old, in all of it, singing, dancing and acting. I, I took it very seriously, so I guess I am trained. Do you feel any difference with some of the young American stars that you see? Do you a little different decorum or...? You know what, I think there's a lot of great stars. I think you're a good actor. If you're making it, there's something good about you. So I don't want to compare like British to American. I think if you're doing really well, good for you. Although um, you do do a good American accent. Oh, God, put me on the spot right now. Okay. <laughs> because How are Jason you? was saying that he would pick up a lot more girls if he had that accent. And, you're like, and he's like, he's probably just fake. He's probably from Ohio. <laughs> I actually am. <laughs> Can you do? <laughs> what is that accent? Is that your accent? No, I'm from Idaho. That's potatoes. Oh, Idaho? <laughs> Bad check, sorry. Do you, is that hard to do an American accent? Um, no, it's not too bad. The movie I actually have coming out, I play American, and I kind of stay in character all day. So I try and fool everyone. I stay in American most of the time, like even at lunch, and I was, you know, American. Is that, I mean, it's funny. And actually, you play an American journalist in this new movie, right? I do, kind of like you. Wow. Yeah, I, um, <laughs> I went to Bhutan, and uh, yeah, I shot the movie there. And a lot of people say, where is Bhutan? Is that exactly what I thought? It's between China and India in the Himalaya Mountains. And I basically play this journalist that goes out there to learn about the culture. And along the way, I, I fall in love and I go on this big adventure. So it was very fun to play. Oh, my gosh. And you've not only got this new movie coming out, you've got the TV series Vanity with Denise Richards and some other fun stars. It looks like a kind of a fun, like, soap opera a little bit, you know? Definitely. It's a bit like The Devil Wears Prada meets Ugly Betty, Gossip Girl, and it is a lot of fun. Desperate like, Housewives thrown in, you know? Yeah. That sounds like, like fun. It was, a, it was so much fun. Honestly, I, I loved going to work every day. Everyone was very friendly. And I was really sad when it was over, but hopefully maybe season two. I know, because you've been really doing TV, I mean, movies. You came from also, you used to be on the stage at the West End doing, like, We Will Rock You. This guy's a great dancer, by the way, too. I mean, whoa. I don't great. Know what that Why did they call you for Magic Mike XXL? I know, I'm ready for Thunder Down Under. Really? If my acting career, you know, slows down Thunder Down Under, you better watch out. Okay. Really? Cause you, oh, the body roll. Yeah. You can, and you can do the Australian. Could you switch to Australian All accent? All right, mate. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Where's Down Under? <laughs> I've got I've got to audition while I'm here, right? I mean, right. I'm in Vegas, so. Um, Actually, of all the Vegas shows we've got, if you could appear, you know, dancing on stage or you know, guest star, which one would you pick? I would pick Michael Jackson because as a kid, I was obsessed. I still kind of am, and I can moonwalk. But I'm, I'm actually hopefully seeing it tomorrow night, so yeah, MJ, something like that. The Cirque show is so, yeah, it's so yeah, good. The You'll love Michael it. Michael Jackson Cirque du Soleil, yeah. And I'm obsessed, by the way, with one of the movies you were in. You were in Mamma Mia. Yeah. You're one of the groom's friends who got to dance in all those great numbers with Meryl Streep and Christine Baranski and yeah. Pierce Brosnan. I saw some of the pictures. I'm like, look at all these pictures. James Bond, Meryl Streep. Yeah. Meryl Streep, she's kind of a hack. I mean, she's... Ugh. Overrated. Who? No, who? Overrated? I'm, just, I'm joking. No, she was... Bow down to the queen, you know? Everyone um, on that, I mean, it was one of those dream jobs. We got to go to Greece for six weeks and dance around and, you know, get drunk with all these A-list stars. Like, how can that not be great? Who drank the most when you were uh, Probably me. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone had a good time, put it that way. I was who, like... Who tipped it back more, Pierce Brosnan or Meryl? I think it was pretty equal. But one night, I remember she was singing one of the songs from the movie with a glass of wine in her hand having the best time, and I just love seeing them cut loose. And then we had Benny and Bjorn. God, I feel like I'm name dropping. Whoops, I dropped the names. <laughs> hey, I asked 
asked you about it. It's fine. Okay. Um, well, yeah, it was one of those moments, and it was so surreal. So. Gosh. Well, great. Well, listen, you are such a rising star. We're excited about your career. So anytime you're in Vegas, come on back, okay? I will. All right. We're going to check out Vanity and your new films, and just look for Everest Cooper, okay? You're going to see this name a lot. All right. Thank you so much, Dave. Appreciate it. Thanks for having it. me. Of course. Jason, try yes. a British accent. Step it up. No. I, I'm not after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right.